<sighs> what is up guys welcome back to the channel dylan grove you're the extreme outdoorsman if you guys are new here to the channel make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me help me at 25,000 subscribers i would really appreciate it but as you've seen from the title and the thumbnail i'm going to be going over my favorite moments of 2022 it was a crazy year i caught so many big smallmouth so many big largemouth um, big pike it was just an absolutely amazing year too i went on so many different road trips up north to catch some really big fish i met some really really cool people in the 2022 season i, I really appreciate each and every one of you that sits down and watches all my videos it just means a lot to me and i actually just got back from the ultimate fishing show here in detroit and i was there all day thursday if you guys didn't get the chance to say hi or meet me over the weekend um, I've been pretty busy actually, so I wasn't able to make it this weekend, but I made it all day Thursday and I ran into so many different subscribers, so many different people that support the channel. And I really, really appreciate everyone that supports the channel. You guys don't know how much it means to me when you guys come over and tell me you watch my videos or you, you're subscribed or something, or you bring up a specific video that you watch that help you catch more fish. So. This is just what I love doing. I love helping you guys out. So if you have any questions or anything, or if you guys want me to film any certain videos for 2023, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And I always read through all my comments. I love seeing all the comments you guys leave. And make sure to hit that thumbs up for me. I really appreciate all the likes and everything. But also, um, I'm gonna leave a little picture right here, but it's just crazy to me like over 90 percent of you guys that are watching my youtube videos aren't subscribed i'll leave a little picture for you guys right here if you guys are watching today's video make sure to go hit that subscribe button it helps me out a lot it actually helps a lot of my youtube videos if i have more subscribers it helps youtube show that people are watching my videos and everything and my videos will be on the explore page so I'm just going to give you a quick second to go hit that subscribe button for me. My goal for 2023 is to reach 40 to 50,000 subscribers. I'm going to be trying to do a lot of different collaborations this year, um, filming with different content creators. So also drop a comment below some people or other creators you'd like for me to go film with and make videos. But 2023 is going to be insane guys going to be creating so much content i've got some really big news coming up um, i'm pretty excited about it i got some really big partnerships um, in the works right now so hopefully those work for 2023 but really appreciate you guys supporting i'm going to roll the videos of all my favorite catches of 2022 hopefully you guys enjoy Fish on. <laughs> well guys, there's my first fish, my first open water bass of the year. And it looks like it is in pretty rough condition. Holy crap. I don't know, really know what's wrong with it, but he drilled that Guggen Squad jerk bait right there. Just tied it on this morning. Figured with this colder water, those largemouth bass would love hitting the jerk bait. That's usually what they like to hit this time of year. So fish on he hit it while it was just sitting there sure first small mouth of the year guys for me it's a pretty nice one yes on a perch jerk bait yeah it's a nice one that's sweet my first small mouth of 2022 well guys my first small mouth of the year 2022 and it's a big one Oh, holy crap. That's sweet. I better watch out with those hooks, but beautiful smallmouth bass. Guys, I love getting out here on Lake St. Clair, targeting these fish. Fish on. 
Well, guys, I just tied on this clickbait and first couple cast with it. Well, guys, I just picked up the Guggen Squad clickbait. My first couple cast with it. Biggest bass of the day for me. Oh. Nice one. Yes. That's a stud. Check out that, guys. Right there on that black and blue clickbait, I just put a Havoc Pit Boss on the back and he drilled it. He slack lined me. Smiling at me, waving. Fish on. All right, guys, another one on that Guggen Squad clickbait. I'm just throwing it out, reeling it in super slow. And that blade right there is creating a ton of wake in the water. And that's what attracts those fish, but pretty nice one. Smiled like crazy. Oh. Fish on. That feels like a better one, guys. They're hitting it. Dang. Oh. Another one on that Ketchko um, Guggen Squad clickbait. It's a nice one, too. Oh. oh, holy smokes. They're loaded up on this shoreline, guys. Really nice fish, um, solid one. But yeah, like I said, just slow rolling that um, clickbait along bottom and they're tearing it up. fish ah, it feels like a tank oh fish on oh, yeah, it is. oh grab my camera oh fish on guys guys check that freaking beast out um, like I said, I just tied on that new Guggen Squad jerk bait right there. And I figured with that chartreuse on the bottom that those fish would key in. Um, like my dad said, they, he said it'd be super good with that chartreuse on the back. Those fish are going to key in on this muddy water. And that is a beautiful largemouth bass, probably like a three and a half, four pounder. Oh, that's a tank. Fish on. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, guys. Another one on that white Catchco Guggen Squat Bitter Bait. Check that out. That's pretty sweet. My dad was catching him on that Myers spinner bait so I figured I'd try out that Guggen Squad um, Ketchko one and I just had a pretty nice one on and it got off at, at the boat but got that one in the boat sweet you're gonna have to go buy the whole rack yeah yeah Holy smokes! On the white spinnerbait. Turn it up. Fish are chewing today. Uh, oh. Nice Check, one. Whoa. The spinnerbait just fell out. Check that freaking stud out, guys. Beautiful largemouth bass. We're just throwing right along that shoreline and they are absolutely hammering it. Holy crap, we're getting all kinds of fish today, but super good fish, guys. Fish on. 
That's a good one. Well, guys, just caught that freaking fatty right there on that Ketchco Guggen Squad spinner bait, that zinger. Check out the belly on him. He's a freaking fatty. Probably my biggest of the day, that's for sure. But he's definitely a chunky one, that's for sure. All right, guys, nice fish. Gonna put him back. All right, guys, we just got to the first spot in the first couple casts with this baby one minus. Check that out. I can't really grab him good. He's got hooks. Both of the hooks in his mouth. He definitely wanted that baby one minus, but we're just getting back here. And first couple casts is a fish, so it's pretty sweet, but beautiful largemouth bass. Definitely not a big end, but it's a start, that's for sure. Fish on, guys, on the baby one minus. This back here working all these canals, and they're definitely wanting that baby one minus today, but pretty nice one. The weather conditions are pretty crazy out here. Super windy, scattered rain, but we're out here catching fish, guys. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> Fish on! It feels like a tank. <laughs> They're on fire out here. My dad and Blue Jays just doubled up in my next cast. Literally, on that baby one minus, Blue Jays is throwing the Guggen Squad click, click bait strawberry lemonade. And my dad's throwing the jerk bait. So we're catching them on all kinds of lures, guys. Um, so that's pretty cool, but... They're hungry out here today, that's for sure. Beautiful largemouth bass. Gonna put them back. Whoa! Fish on. I didn't even set the hook, really. I thought it was a weed. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, guys, another one on that baby one minus. They're tearing it up today. Check that out, guys. Really nice fish. Um, probably a solid two and a half, three pounder. Really nice one. But we're just working this little bay right here in this canal. And it's a, it's a really good spot right now. These fish are loaded up in this warmer water where all the bait fish are. And right there on that baby one minus, guys. Like I'm, like I said, if you guys don't have that bait, make sure to go grab it for this year in the springtime. Because let me tell you, it catches fish. Fish, fish on on the bile spawn exo swim, guys. My first fish of the day, and it feels like oh, it's a pike. Well guys, my first fish of the day out here on Lake St. Clair is a pretty nice pike, a northern pike. Um, we're just working around some docks right now and there's some huge pike and huge muskie in this lake so it's always fun sometimes getting a bonus pike or a bonus muskie so pretty cool. My first fish of the day right there on that bile spawn exo swim but Gonna keep casting. Hopefully, I can get on a big smallmouth bass today. I, mean, I, have plenty more, but... I just there's one fish on, guys. It feels like a really nice one. Oh, it's a nice one. All right, guys, I got my probably my biggest smallmouth of the day. It's my second one. Oh, dang. That's a tank right there. Check that out. He's got a big hit mark on him right there, probably from a, a big muskie or a pike or something. But like I said, we're just working down these sea walls. These sea walls hold heat. So all the bait fish are in here right now. And that's what brings the smallmouth bass in here. But really nice fish having a blast out here with Jordan and Caleb. But they're up here for the next couple days. And we're gonna keep catching them guys. So really nice smallmouth bass. Fish. Yeah, that feels like a good one. Yeah. He's a really light one. He's a fighter though. Oh, you got it. You almost got it. 
we were just doubled up. Jordan had one on the tube, and I'm using the swim bait right there. I just have one on. Oh, that one smashed it. Fish on. We've been moving around a lot, guys. We figured we'd give this spot a rest. We went and fished around a couple other spots. And right when we got back, fish on. As we've been fishing around the lake a lot, we've been fishing this pretty much all morning. We figured we'd give this spot a rest. So we went and moved around the lake and we just pulled up. We just got back to this spot and first couple casts is a fish. These again. fish are beautiful, what? I was gonna say, it's something about these sea walls. Yeah, it these is. I don't know what it is about the sea walls. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fish on. Nice. Nice bass, guys. First fish of the day. And it looks like a... Whoa. That's a tank. Nice. Just throwing this Guggen Squad clickbait. Oh, yes. Holy smokes, guys. All right, guys, just caught this beautiful largemouth bass. He absolutely hammered that Guggen Squad clickbait. And I got that Bandito bug on the back, and he absolutely smashed it. Probably like a three and a half, four pounder. Fish. Oh, 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 that's a tank. He drew. <laughs> He's pulling the kayak. Oh my gosh, that's a toad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I hope the GoPro got that freaking bass jumping out of the water. Holy smokes. That is another freaking monster. Probably a three and a half, four pounder. I just cast it and let it sink to the bottom. I didn't even start reeling it yet. That's a nice one. On the Guggen Squad clickbait, guys. Oh, holy crap. Let's go. That's a tank. Check that out. That's a freaking fatty. Holy crap. Right there on that Guggen Squad clickbait, I just cast it out right along those reeds. And first, drop down i didn't even start reeling that clickbait guys that's how good these clickbaits are honestly <laughs> guys that's a freaking toad at least a four pounder that's a tank but really nice fish we're gonna get a couple pictures real quick and put them back but that is freaking sweet they gotta be right in this corner That isn't a bass. Jonathan. I didn't even start reeling yet. Is he there? Is he, he's there. Oh my gosh. What? I just called it out. That was crazy. I just seen this current in this little canal right here, right on this right side. I was talking to Blue Jays. I was like, there's got to be a bass up in that current. And no joke, first cast. I didn't even start reeling it yet. Fish. We're just fishing these reeds right here, throwing these click baits. Just fishing, moving baits is the key right now. We're just covering a lot of water and we're doing pretty good today, that's for sure. But we actually just ran into some guys from Ohio that watched the video, so really appreciate them um, saying hi to us. Always love running into everyone that supports the channel, but nice fish, gonna put them back, get on a couple more big ones, maybe we'll catch a five pounder today. Nice one. 
Oh. <laughs> Good work, man. Yeah. My dad always swears by him, too. You need to think of There's one. Oh, man. Really? Right, right there, man. Guys, check this freaking out. I just tied on that Guggen Baits dart. It's a five inch fluke, green pumpkin, watermelon. It's, it was cool because I seen him like yeah. eat it first and he sucked it in yeah, deeper. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, that was sorry. Sorry. You're good. Oh, what is that? A bow pen? Oh! Those guys are right there too. Oh, sorry. It's a big one. All right, guys, I'm using the Guggen dart right now. And probably, I don't know, well, I guess it's not as big as I thought. It's a nice fish though. Yeah, it's still a really nice one. Oh. Shh. There's guys around us right now, I guess. I was just yelling. But check out that freaking tank, guys on the Guggen dart. That's freaking crazy. Fish on. Smally, smally. Yeah, grab my camera. Holy crap. This is a really nice one, Dad. Dark one, too. Holy crap. All right, guys. Big smally. I just tied on the tight rope catch co jig. First couple casts with it. Holy crap. Monster small. All right, guys, check out that beautiful smallmouth bass. Me and my dad actually just got out here. It's around like 10 30, 11 o'clock. And check that out. I just tied on that little tight rope jig. I ordered it on Carl's Bait and Tackle. It's kind of like a burnt orange, like cross style little tiny jig and my dad gave me a little soft plastic to put on the back of it and literally like second cast we're just working this seawall right here just casting right along um all these weeds right here in this current in the river so really cool fish but yeah, first giant. fish of the day probably a four pounder four and a half pounder that is just beautiful guys really nice fish gonna get a quick picture real quick and put them back but <laughs> Nice. That's a tank. Fish on. Oh, that's a big one. I got some of that boat flipping. Oh, holy crap, guys. Check that beast out. I just tied on my go-to bait. I haven't used this in months and we haven't really caught a ton in the past like 30 minutes and I've been seeing all kinds of fish all over the place. And I tied on the Biospawn Exo Swim and I ordered this jig head off Carl's Bay and Tackle. It has rattlers inside of the jig head. I figured maybe that would attract them right now. And That's I just picked it up. First couple casts. That is crazy. Beautiful smallmouth bass. Really, really dark one. I love catching these dark ones. They're really cool smallmouth bass. But all right, gonna put them back. Oh, 
Fish on. <laughs> Smalley. Oh, these things fight good. Just getting out here, guys. There's another one right there. I'm working a little deeper water today. It's like 10 to 12 foot right here. Just along the mile roads right now. And this is only probably a two pounder, but these smallmouth are tough guys. They fight like crazy. A two pounder feels like a five pounder. They're destroying that Ned rig. I got the Guggen Ned head on there. And then also I'm throwing the Guggen Bates black and purple Ned rig. And check that out guys. It's freaking awesome. Second fish of the day and it is gorgeous out here. It's like 8 30, 9 o'clock. Like I said, not that many people out here because it's like the middle of the week. So it's perfect time to be out here. It's supposed to be like no wind today. So really, really good conditions. But all right, guys, gonna put that fish back. Beautiful Lake St. Clair smallmouth bass, but better get my line back in there. They're chewing. Well, guys, just hooked up onto another one. They are freaking loaded up in here. This is a really good one too. I'm just throwing that Ned rig around and they're freaking destroying it. Dang, this is a really good one. <sighs> That's a at least four pounder probably. <laughs> Holy crap, check that out guys. He freaking destroyed that Guggen Bates Ned rig, the purple, um, black, and gold one. Fish on. I seen that one eat my Nedrug. Really good one too. Oh. Come here. <laughs> How can this not make you smile, guys? If you get ever get the chance to come out to Lake St. Clair, get out there, guys, because the smallmouth are freaking crazy out here. It seems like every time I make the trip out here, they freaking bite. Beautiful Lake St. Clair smallmouth, and he freaking destroyed the Guggen head and also the Guggen Bates Ned rig. Fish on, this feels like a big one. Holy crap. Come on, big smallie. Holy crap. There's like six of them with it. What the heck? Look at them all. That's a big one, dang. Don't lose them. Come on, smallie. That's a freaking Mondo. There was six smallmouth with this one, swimming together. Oh, I wish I had a net. I don't know if I do. No net. Oh, holy crap. Check that smallie out, guys. Frickin' toad. Holy crap. Fish on. On the jerk bait. Man, this is fun coming out here catching smallies. They destroy the jerk bait, guys. I'm throwing the Guggen Squad Scout jerk bait. Fish on. Fish on. Fish? Oh, mondo. I mean mondo. This is small. Fish. 
My dad's doubled up. I better get the net. Fish on, fish on. <laughs> oh, thought it was a mind always. Fish on. Nice one. Yeah. Just switched up to a Guggen Bait Saucy Swimmer. And first couple casts, guys, really nice smallmouth bass. And we're just working the same area where we have been all morning. He destroyed that Guggenbait saucy swimmer, like the sexy shad color, so. <laughs> Fish on. Well guys, we just pulled up um, to the very first spot of the day. We've been moving around a lot today, but we just got back here. And first couple casts, I'm throwing that Guggen Baits drag and drop. Pretty nice smallie. He just spit something up. But pretty cool. Just pulling back up to the first spot and a decent small mile. So I guess they're here. Fish on! Woo! <laughs> oh, that's a tank. That looks big. Get the net! Getting it! Oh! Yes, it's a nice one. Let's check out that beautiful Lake St. Clair smallmouth. We actually just rolled up. We've been fishing a bunch of different spots, but we figured we'd come back to the honey hole. And as soon as we got here, it was like instant bites. But check out that smallie right there on that Guggen Baits drag and drop. Time I cast back. I think they want it like that, Dad. Fish hole! Man, they're loving this drag and drop today, guys. I'm catching all kinds of smallmouth on it. Dang, it's a big black one. There's another one with him. Cast over there. See it? Oh, he's coming for yours. Has he got it? In the net. Well guys, there's another really nice smallmouth. That one's a really dark one too. I like catching those dark smallmouth. They're really cool um, fish. I don't know, it just seems like I really like catching all the super dark ones. I just think they look really, really cool. But um, just throwing that drag and drop, the Guggen Baits drag and drop. I'm doing really, really good out here today. My dad's been catching them on some other baits, but really nice smallmouth bass having a blast out here today. Uh, a giant sand bull out here. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh! oh get the net! Big in! Fish 
Fish on! Well guys, my first fish of the day, my first smallmouth. We're just rolling up to the hot spot. This spot has been on fire the past week or longer. I've been coming out here destroying the smallmouth bass on drop shots, jerk baits, ned rigs, all kinds of lures, but that's my first fish of the day. Me and Blue Jays are just getting out here. I figured I'd bring him out here and hopefully get him on a monster smallmouth bass today, but that's a pretty decent one. That one first one he caught was a really, really nice one. So that was cool to see him pull that one in. But if you guys aren't yet subscribed, make sure you go hit that subscribe button. Um, I really appreciate all the support, but gonna put that one back. Fish on. This is crazy. I love coming out here smallmouth fishing, guys. It's addicting. There's not one single boat around us right now, and we're freaking wrecking them. On the drop shot. Drop shots are key lures in the summertime. A lot of those fish are just sitting right along bottom looking for some type of bait fish, and when they see that drop shot, they'll come smash it. There we go. Easy as that, once you find the fish, just throw a drop shot or ned rig or some type of lure on the bottom, and they are gonna come freaking destroy it, guys. Really nice, beautiful fish. These fish are gorgeous. This is a really gold one, so pretty cool. Hey, one. I don't know. Yep, pretty deep. Oh! Nice smallie, guys. He's peeling drag. Oh! Want that spotlight? Nice. Like that nut job? Yeah, it went right. It's right on him. Well, another one. They are freaking loaded up in here, guys. They are loving the drop shot. It's late summertime right now, almost fall. It's getting pretty cold, obviously. Um, as you guys can tell, me and Blue Jays both have sweats and sweatshirts on because it's kind of kind of chilly out here this morning but right there on the drop shot they're really crushing it this morning so that's a good one. Oh, oh get the net that is a big one make sure you hit spot like you want i'm clear big in They're freaking loaded up in here, guys. Drop shots, late summertime. Make sure to get out here, because they're biting. Oh. Nice! Yes! Big in. Check that smallie out, guys. Frickin' toad on the drop shot. This is an incredible morning already. This is crazy, guys. We're just getting out here. There's no one else out here. I guess it is a weekday, though, but we're pretty lucky that we had the day off of work to get out here and catch some big Lake St. Clair smallmouth bass, but that's probably a four, four and a half pounder. Really nice, beautiful smallmouth bass on the drop shot. They are wrecking the drop shot this morning, so if you get the chance to come out here, um, we're fishing anywhere from 10 to 12 foot of water with drop shots, just, just letting it drag right along bottom, guys. They're tearing it up, but. 
is a split in the matrix. I think I might be switching to Josh out. Next cast! That's a good one. This is crazy. Whoa! That's a good one. Get the net. Get the net! Get the net! Did he start? Yeah, that's a cool one. Nice! That's a sweet one. Check that one out, guys. That was freaking crazy. Literally next cast on the drop shot. And that was a really, really dark looking smally too. I really like catching those dark smallmouth. They're super cool creatures. I don't really know why some of them are super dark and others are really, really gold looking. But in my opinion, I like catching the really dark ones. But super cool fish. I'm going to get a quick picture and put them back.